Hey everyone, welcome back to Crafting with JC. Today I am so excited to share with you these adorable fall crafts. They all came out so beautiful and I intentionally designed a couple of them to be displayed several ways so it's like you're getting two for one. But most importantly, each will only cost you a few dollars to make, which is always my goal on each of my DIYs. So let's get started! For DIY number one, you will need this natural wood plaque from Dollar Tree. It measures just about 24 by 6 inches, as well as 8 Super Jumbo Craft Sticks. I'm going to cut the craft sticks to the width of the wood plaque, so I line them up side by side, place the wood on top, and trace. Then I trim the sticks down. I will be painting them with this beautiful olive green color, so pretty. With a brush, I brush the paint on all over, and I only paint one side because the other side won't be seen. I did add a second coat, but since I will be sanding these, it really doesn't need to be fully opaque. So I lightly sand the craft sticks down on the top and sides in order to achieve this weathered and rustic look and have the natural wood grains peep through. I'll be hot gluing four sticks on each end making sure to cover the holes and the pumpkin cut out. I decided to leave the wood unpainted, I just love that natural wood shade and it brings a gorgeous contrast to the rustic green. Right in the center, I'm going to be placing this adorable wall sticker that I got from Dollar Tree that says, Be Grateful. There are really so many wall stickers and decals to choose from at Dollar Tree, especially if you don't have a Cricut or you don't want a stencil or paint. I just love having this option. Now, I did have to reposition the BE, but thank goodness it still stuck pretty well. To hang, I'm just going to hot glue rope behind it, and that is it. Simple, easy, and inexpensive, such a beautiful reminder that you can place anywhere in your home. For DIY number two, I picked up this fall die-cut shadow box from Dollar Tree. It's so pretty! First thing I do is to touch up the gather sign, so I go over that with black acrylic paint, and that really makes a difference. I'm going to paint the sides with orange spice from Craftsmart. I want to leave the front of the frame unpainted. So I add some tape over that to protect it, but any paint that leaked through did easily come off with light sanding. So I apply the paint all over and then I turn it around and paint the back as well. This is going to be a decor piece that can be displayed two ways, so I make sure to fully coat the back. You'll need two 5 gallon paint sticks and I cut them down so that I had two at 11 and a half inches and four at three and a quarter inches. I lightly sand down the white ruler marks so that it won't show through the paint. So I apply the paint all over and since I will be gluing equal sizes in pairs, I leave one side unpainted. When I applied the first coat of paint, I initially wanted it to go on thin, so I diluted it with a little bit of water, but it was drying out too bright. So I applied a second coat without diluting it, and it came out the way I wanted it to. I glue them in pairs like so, and let that dry. Now it's time to assemble. I'm going to form a rectangle with the wood pieces and glue them together. Definitely use your preferred glue. You can also secure by gluing tumbling tower blocks on each corner when the piece is complete. And here is what it looks like so far. It is almost done. To make the base, you will need 12 tumbling tower blocks and 5 super jumbo craft sticks cut in half and trimmed just under 3 and a quarter inches. 
So first I made sure the blocks fit perfectly side by side before gluing them. I am placing them on its side instead of flat. When gluing, just make sure to add glue on the two sides of the corner pieces that are touching the frame and the paint sticks. And that just adds extra support. So I glue everything down and that is it for this one. I love how you can display this front or back. It's like I got two for the price of one. Use it to display flowers or anything decorative. Both sides look amazing. I love it. For the final DIY, I am going to use this 5x7 wood plaque from Dollar Tree as well as three one gallon paint sticks and I got a pack of 10 for under a dollar at my local Home Depot. So I cut them down to the following sizes and I'm going to paint them in the shade Orange Spice. So I applied the paint all over. I do want it to be opaque and just like the previous DIY, I turn it over and paint the back. This is also going to be a two-sided decor piece. Then I move on to the paint sticks. I want to distress the sides only so I carefully sand down the edges, carefully avoiding the front and back. And with the paint sticks, I do sand them all over, distressing it a bit. I glue the pieces like so to make a little rectangle and I just pressed two wooden boxes on each side until it dried. To make the base, I glue down six tumbling tower blocks like so. Then I take two super jumbo craft sticks and cut them in half to make four pieces to fit, about three and a half inches. I'm going to rub on Waverly antique wax to give a nice dark wood color before gluing them down. And then I touch up any areas where the natural wood is peeking through. My Dollar Tree sells these adorable wooden words that come in a pack of six. And I'm going to use Hello Fall for this one. So I apply the antique wax all over and then I wipe it down. I also trimmed down at an angle a piece of the curved part of a paint stick that was left over and I applied the wax on that as well. Hello Fall was looking a little too dark so I just lightened it up a bit with a little bit of white acrylic paint focusing mainly on the edges. Then I hot glue that down in the bottom and then glue the stem on top. I take some twine and wrap that around and make a bow and then I add these green berries and I am done. This pumpkin came out so adorable. You can display it either way. You can easily fit a mason jar or Dollar Tree cylinder vase on it and have flowers or greeneries peeking out from behind the pumpkin. I just love how it turned out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.